Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. You can see I'm all red <laughs> in my face because I don't have any foundation on. I don't have any base makeup, just the eye makeup because we're going to try a new foundation. I love to do this. So I bought a new cushion foundation and a new jelly formula blush from Yes Style. So this is a this is Korean brands. So the blush I have in another color so this before. So I've tried the formula. So I just bought it in a new color. So we're going to try it out. And the cushion foundation. The thing is I have, I'm going to show you, I have this one that I have raved about so many times. It's the Cleo Crease Killer. And I was, because this is in the shade 5BY. Uh, so this is the packaging and 5BY. And I, I love the formula. It looks so smooth. It's so easy makeup, but this feels a little bit too dark for me. So I wanted to get the same foundation, but in a lighter color. And I was looking through the page and I couldn't find it, but I did find another. <laughs> I did find this one. This is also the crease killer from Cleo, but I don't think this is not the same. So I don't know what the difference is, but we're going to try it out and see if it's any good. And it is in a lighter shade. I'm going to show you some swatches also in comparison to the things I have. And if this is the first time here, very welcome. If you love makeup, you are at the right place. I love to play with makeup. I have a huge makeup collection that I love to use. Like do these, get ready with me, use the makeup I have. But sometimes I do love to buy new makeup as today that we're going to try out. I also do vlogs, fashion related videos, a little bit of everything here. So check it out if you like it, subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. So as I said, I bought this here. So this is the Cleo Crease Killer Fixer Cushion. It's SPF 50, which is good. And I have this in 4B Oh, <laughs> ginger, the shade. And this is a really good shade, I think. I hope so, because it's lighter from the one I had before. I'm going to show you a comparison as well. The ones I had before was the Crease Killer Glow Cushion, just as, yeah, SPF 50 as well. So a little bit of more glow in this one. I don't know if that is going to make any difference, but you're going to see on the swatches now that the lighter shade is the newer. So I think they will be good because the darker one is this, the one I had before, and I felt like it's a little bit too dark for me right now. So I hope, I hope the formula is good as with the other one, because I do love that so much. And then I actually have this one from before. So this is a jelly doll blusher from Holika Holika. And I have this one in Nut Jelly, but I bought a new shade. So this is in the shade Grapefruit Jelly. And I think this looks so, so gorgeous, very summery and I'm also going to give you some swatches uh, against each other so you can see the difference. So this is more brighter. This is actually very close, what I think, like a grapefruit, like a blood grapefruit. And I am so excited because I do love this formula as well. So if this is the same formula, I suppose so, uh, it's going to be good. I'm going to be happy. So uh, let's start, guys. I think I am going to... I'm not going to be home all day today, so I am, I cannot do like regular check-ins. Maybe I can do one check-in and see how, how it looks uh, during the day, but I'm going to zoom again and we can get started. Okay, zoomed in and I'm going to prime. This is from Glossy Box, something I got in a Glossy Box subscription box. It's Skin Care 3 in 1 Moisturizer. It's plumps, primes and protects. <laughs> I feel like I am so dry right now. Um, so I need to prime, especially here, like this area here. I have had a cold, so I think it's that. But also my lips is so, so dry. So I'm, I'm going to moisturize this first. And as I said, I love this one. This is so reflective, but uh, so that's why I wanted to try this one. You actually get a refill as well. I totally forgot to tell you. You get a refill in this one. So, and you also get that in the other one that I bought before. So, yeah. As you can see on the close-up, you have a little cushion here. You have a protecting thing here. Th that is my finger because I was swatching. So it's not like 
So what I love about this is so easy makeup. It's just like you, this feels a little more wet actually. Ooh. Okay, and then you just like apply it. Is this too light? <laughs> Maybe I can mix these in the future, but Yeah, this is very easy makeup guys. It's just I love to apply it with this one Like a little puff here. I think that is so so easy. I don't feel like it's the same formula, but it's not it I don't think uh, it would be either because it's two different packaging. This is black and the other one is pink, but I feel like it's very easy to apply. What I noticed this one is more watery. The other one is not that watery actually. It's more like I know it this the other one says a uh, glow, but I don't know. I feel like Maybe this one gives a little bit as well of glow. I don't know. How does this look? Maybe I need to compare this at one point if you are interested, like half of my face. Now I'm just gonna, of course, use this one because we're gonna try it out. Yeah, I can feel like it's a little bit watery here, but is that good or bad? Now we're gonna build it up because, yeah, the shade is really good now when I see it. Like, you can see my neck. It's like, it's like really, really good. And I don't know if the finish is like, it's not the same as the other one. I think I may, like first, first, first impression. I think I like the other one better because this slips away a little bit, like watery, kind of. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I don't know about this, it gets into my pores here, like it settles into my pores, but maybe it's all going to be good when it all melts into the skin. But maybe, I don't know, if I don't like this as much, I think I'm gonna get a lighter shade. Well, not now, because I have to, I need to use this up in this one, but we're gonna see, I'm not gonna... <laughs> go go ahead of myself or what do you say like I'm gonna just take some concealer this is from Essence it's the stay all day 14 hour and I really like this one so I'm just gonna conceal a little bit here and then we're gonna apply the other thing so I am very excited about that oh my god I have a hair here <laughs> Uh, I'm very excited about that blush. <laughs> I am very, very excited about that. Okay, I just wanted you to see now. Oh, oh my god, I have. I'm very sore <laughs> in my nose. But, except that, <laughs> if you just take a look, you can see here it has settled into my pores here. I hope you can see that. Uh, but maybe it's gonna be okay. Yeah, otherwise it looks actually really good if you look in the forehead. And I mean, the color is perfect, I feel like, because now I'm very pale. In the summertime, the other one is really, really nice. Okay, I wanna do, I wanna do creams. So I took out the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't know, do you know any dupe for this one? Because this is so expensive, guys, and I'm out of it soon. Uh, I know there is a lot of, like, dupes, but are there really a dupe for this one? Is there really a dupe, like, color-wise as well? I don't know. This is a little more cool tone, so I like to use this as, like, contour. But then I actually use like something warmer, of course, because I do, oh my god, I do love to be a little more warm tone in my skin. I think this one, just this one, I wouldn't like actually because I feel like it is a little bit too cool tone. Now I think it's start to dry out a little bit. I am squeezing the last thing of this. So I am really like, I need... Uh, like a new one, but I am a little bit like I don't want to pay that much. Oh my god, I try to not do that anymore. Like, 
not too much. Maybe we're gonna take a little bit on the nose. I don't know. Is this a good idea? Is this a good idea? Probably not, but you know what? I am going to contour a little bit here and maybe a little bit here as well. Oh my god, and this dries. This is a little bit drying right now. As I said, it's it's the last thing in my like uh, in the tube, so I think <laughs> I think actually it could be one of the last last times I'm using this one. So do you know? <laughs> do you know what I do? Uh, I'm gonna use this one from She Glam. I don't buy from She Glam anymore. I know I telling you that all the time but I am using the makeup I have and I actually love this one I cannot deny it it's a beautiful liquid bronzer just to when you need something to be a little more warmer I got on my nose as well <laughs> we can start there <laughs> yeah, okay so this blends also really nice I mean now the Charlotte Tilbury doesn't blend that good I feel like because it is a little bit drying but this one is absolutely amazing. Look at this beautiful, beautiful skin. And yeah, I think it looks a little bit better. You know, sometimes it just needs to melt into the skin a little bit. Okay, let's let's try this one then. I am so excited. So I love they have a little poof here and they have a protecting lid. And I, I want to use this one. <laughs> I want to use this and let's see here. We're just going to take a little bit. Ooh, this is beautiful. Because the other shade I have, I think I need to take a lot for it to show. But I think it's more like, because it's more like a neutral shade, you can see this one is a very, it's very like pinkish coral or something. <laughs> I love it that you have this little, it fits like two fingers here and <laughs> it's perfect. So I'm just gonna give it a little flush here, maybe a little bit on the nose, maybe a little bit on my apples. I like this. I love this formula guys. It is like jelly like and I, yeah, love this. I'm gonna show you, oh my god, how my old one looks. I think you can see that it has a dent in it, but also that it is like the formula, you can almost see like the jelly formula, uh, how it looks. But yeah, I love these. So now I have two. And one more brighter and one more, a little more like subtle blush. So I am going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzing Glow. I love this one. This is a product that I feel like have grown on me. Like when I bought it, I bought it because everyone was raving about it. And at that time, I really loved like super, super glowy highlighters. Like really intense highlighters but now these days I love this kind of just glow like this this is a good glow I must say but you know if you're looking for like maybe the Ofra one I feel like that is too too much for me right now I feel like that is just too glowy or too highlight <laughs> <laughs> this one gives a very nice subtle glow and more like a natural glow, a beautiful glow. So that's what I love. I am going to put a little more eyeshadow underneath. So I'm just gonna, I love this one. This is my most used eyeshadow palette. I must say I love this one for my everyday or even if I wanna go, you know, to a party and be glam. This is a perfect, absolutely a perfect eyeshadow palette for that. I, if you love neutrals though, I am going to put a little bit, because it has this super dark shade here as well. This brown here, I love this one. You can see I have a, 
maybe I can hit pan on this one because I love this is a cool tone brown and it looks gorgeous and this if you want to go glam you have this shade here in the middle and this one that is very sparkly and beautiful so I just love this palette if I would hit pan on one like in that beautiful shade maybe I should I could actually repurchase this one. Okay, we're just gonna do our lips first before we can zoom in. I am going to use this combo here. Maybe I did this in another video not long ago. This is a lip liner from Exo Beauty. It's Marie, and you can see how much I've used this. It's the perfect, oh my God, I cannot talk while doing this. I love this because <laughs> I, <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on. This is a beautiful neutral, but you can see it has a warm undertone to it. So I have a lot of pinks, I have a n lot of nudes that goes more like uh, brownish nudes, but this is the only one I have that has that hint of warmth to it. And I am going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Super Cindy. This one I have used a lot as well, as you can see, oh my God. If I would run out, I would definitely buy a new one of this one because as you can see it's like a coral but it's like a neutral coral it's not like bam in your face but it's so pretty okay let's zoom in guys okay now we are very zoomed in <laughs> let's see it's a very glowy and beautiful skin I have now maybe it's the highlighter or but I don't have highlighter here so I feel like mm, it's very smooth. I know the other one is super smooth. It's more like silk. The other one is like silk on your skin. This one is a little bit like silky, but I will compare these two side by side at one point because I feel like I want to do that. Uh, it's not going to be the same color though because this one is lighter, but I feel like, yeah, there is a difference, but I feel like this feels really, really nice. It's fast and easy makeup and now you can see here around here yeah it looks a little bit dry here as you can see it feels like I need like moisturize the skin so maybe it's not looking if you look up close like it looks the best but if you take a look from uh, not like super up close. It actually looks really pretty, but I want to see how it uh, Looks in a few hours. I think I'm gonna do one check-in with you guys because as I said, I am going uh, We are going to a spa today, so <laughs> Uh, but uh, we're going in the afternoon so maybe I can do a check-in before that and tell you guys how it looks so we can actually see in a couple of hours but for now it looks good but you know mm, a little bit dry a little bit into my pores uh, but it looks good uh, from from afar <laughs> but yeah let's um, uh, you're gonna see the check-in right now so I'm back. It has been five hours and this will be the only check-in check today. So what has happened with the foundation? Well, what I can see is that it has been fading a little bit here, but it looks a little bit better here. I think it has been like fading and smoothen out somehow since I applied it first and my poor nose is so dry so it flakes off like it's so it's so so dry so this is not the foundation it's just how it looks right now and also here I am so so dry guys uh, so it's not the foundation but I will say it has been it has been settling a little bit in my line here and if you look up close you can see the foundation but still it looks okay I feel like I'm gonna give you a close-up so here we are closed up maybe maybe you can see a little bit better here uh, so I don't know can you really see I don't know if you can maybe if I maybe if I do like this a little bit darker first I feel like here it has been like smoothened out a little bit here it has been fading and as I said don't look at my poor nose here 
uh, as I said, it's not the foundation. Here it looks a little bit better since last time. Yeah, so I mean, in this line, I can see a little bit here, but still, I think it looks good. What do you think? So I think overall it looks good, but I really need to do a comparison, guys, with uh, this one that I absolutely love. Uh, this Chris Killer uh, Glow Cushion, and this is just a fixer cushion. I don't know what the difference is, but I feel like this one has a better finish to it uh, during the day as well. So yeah, I'm super excited to do that. But Overall, I feel like this is a good foundation to have in my day-to-day -day life. It's very easy to apply, super quick. That is what I love about these. It's so easy and quick. I love that. And I also love you get a refill when you buy this. So you get one more like extra. <laughs> it's so great. And the blush, I absolutely love, guys. I mean, it's still there. Maybe I can actually put some more on. I'm going to freshen up my makeup a little bit because we're going to the spa. Well... When you go to the spa, you probably don't need makeup, but, <laughs> uh, but anyway, anywho, <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. Tell me down below if you have one of these, and yeah, tell me if you are excited about this comparison video. I am super excited. I know, as I said, it's going to be one shade darker with this one, and... A better shade with this one but anyway uh yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video as i said give it a big thumbs up if you have and i see you in my next video take care guys bye <laughs>